Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to talk about Miley Cyrus and what she said to a fan not too long ago. Um, Miley Cyrus basically left her followers shocked and very confused after advising her young fans to worship Satan um, if they wanted to become rich and famous like their heroes. <laughs> um, well, the Wrecking Ball singer made her way out of the exit with her security team um, and basically one of her starstruck fans asked her, Hey Miley, do you have any advice for any of your fans that might want to follow in your footsteps and become a star? To which Miley responded, Yeah, if you want to be famous and rich, it's easy, but don't ask me. You need to ask Satan. You can have it all. Um, wow. And then Miley Cyrus then said, You asked me how to make it as a pop star, and I just told you everything you need to do. If you want everything that I have, then all you have to do is ask Satan for it, and you can have it. You need to stop asking Santa for Christmas presents and praying to Jesus, because none of them exist. Satan is our Lord, and when you let him into your heart and worship him instead of your make-believe God, then you can have it all. Well, what I have to say to this is I am not surprised. Satan runs Hollywood. Every single one of them are devil worshippers, so I'm I'm not surprised. Um, but what I'm I'm not happy with is that our our young children follow these celebrities on social media, and are dazzled by their lifestyles. They crave to be like them and are looking for advice and guidance. Now, if we look to celebrities to teach us how to react to certain situations, how to communicate with others, and what to value, we put Jesus' teachings on the sideline. As Christians, we have the best example of a role model in Christ. I will leave you with this. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation, into a snare, into many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evils. It is through this craving that some have wandered, wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pangs. But as for you, O men of God, flee these things, pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you in the presence of God, who gives life to all things, and of Christ Jesus, who is in his testimony before Pontius Pilate made the good confession. 1 Timothy, Timothy 6, verse 9-21. to Thank you so much for listening, and God bless.